Hey guys, here is a T-Sort Ballet 3, the subject for today's discussion. I will talk about specification and why I think it's one of the dresses watch among the budget line. Firstly, Tissot is a Swiss watch manufacturer with long history. It has been founded in 1853 in Lillock in the western part of Switzerland. So when you buy Tissot, you buy not only a timepiece but also its history. Tissot introduced the first mass-produced pocket watch as well as the first pocket watch with two time zones in 1853 and the first anti-magnetic watch in 1930. Tissot's first engagement as an official timekeeper was in 1938 where they timed a series of ski races. Tissot is an official timekeeper for the World Championship in cycling, motorcycling, fencing and ice hockey. Tissot was also a key sponsor for the Formula One teams Lotus, Renault and Sauber for early events can help stop watches for sufficient to provide official timing. The motto of the company is innovators by tradition. The ballet section in T Classic Collection is where T Suit shares amazing designs. The watch has a large decorated stainless steel case, it basically appears quite gentle. All parts of the watch brought together nicely, the watch feels solid. The diameter of Ballet 3 is 39.5 mm with a thickness of 9.5 mm. Thanks to the merge of large diameter case surrounds, the 31 mm wide dial looks powerful and masculine. The dial is engraved by the Georg pattern, like most other representatives of T Classic collection. The first difference comes from skeletonized hands which are sharp like spears and they have a hole inside there is no loom on the hands as on the dial in general. Let us remember that it is a dress watch not a prong crystal is of synthetic sapphire, the calendar is positioned between 4 and 5 o'clock, the crown is positioned at 3 o'clock, it's not a screw down crown, it has poor water resistance of 3 bars because it's not a screw down case bag. It means it can be worn in scenarios where it's likely to be splashed but not immersed in water. It can be worn by washing your hands and will be fine in rain. Tissot Ballet 3 runs on caliber 88, 28, 24, 2, automatic with 25 joules, balance will does 28,000 beats per hour or 8 beats per second, this helps the second hand with stylish teeth run smooth, the power reserve is 42 hours, the mechanism is hacking, the second hand stops when you adjust hours, the mechanism itself has 25.6 mm in diameter, another 14 mm are added by the case surrounding, caliber thickness is 4.6 mm which results in less than 10 mm overall thickness of the watch. Calibre 88282042 is very accurate. It's also used in Hamilton Hecky Field Auto Watch, Zin 556, Stowa Flicker Classic, Tudor Black Bay. Yes, Tudor also used the same mechanism but they modify it. It's not a chronometer certified movement but it's still legit. The bracelet is made of stainless steel and it is 20 mm wide. It has butterfly to fold buckle with two safe buttons. The bracelet is flexible, it brings a comfort for a wearer. The bracelet integrated into the watch on the highest level. I see no sense in changing the bracelet for leather or rubber strap. This bracelet fits the watch perfectly. Actually, I've seen nothing like this before I found this at Ballet 3. It is one of the most beautiful yet simple watches from Tissot. The case alone with the bracelet is what makes watch look gorgeous. As far as this movement is used in many respected brands like Hamilton, Sardina, Tudor, Zin, Stowa, Steinhardt, Eterna, Christopher Watt and others, the movement is legit. It's proved itself throughout the years, the price of the watch is around 300 euros, it is a great dress watch, it looks classical. The suit and Ballet 3 were designed for each other, but with shirts and t-shirt it looks a bit strange, so the watch is to be worn with shirt and suit. Overall experience it's reliable fancy watch, if you wear suit and shirt every day you will never regret buying this watch, it worth a purchase. And so guys that's all for now, click like and subscribe to the channel if this video was useful for you, I will see you in the next one.
Cheers.